Jam Rock. No, I'm not eating that. Put it in the bin. And that's why we don't look like him. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's shredded. <laughs> Do you know um, that there was other people offered to judge him and said no? Why did you say yes? So scared of him. And you're not. Oh no, no. Oh, just, no, because he's because he'll do it, he'll do it correctly. Isn't he? So yeah, you always judge him. Not always, no. Often. I judged him last one as well. Um, yeah, he just goes so quickly. You have to keep your eyes on it. Are you a cheerleader or a just counter? I'm counting. And not, not everyone's on the course as well, so... You're not filming, are you? Yeah. Why do you guys not want to judge you? They think that the, the higher you up, the harder it is. But I'm like, the higher you up, the less mistakes they kind of make. Yeah. That kind of way, so... Maybe they're just intimidated by the speed. Yeah. I guess <laughs> they don't mind messing someone up if they're coming... In the, like tens of thousands on the leaderboard, whereas it's just so much. Yeah, I think that could be it as well. <laughs> Happened to one of them last week. He was redoing 24.1, and I think uh, he was getting to his ninth, and uh, one of them counted 15 reps. And then, yeah, they just stopped. Yeah, they do it again two hours later. So I'd say that's why they're afraid to mess up that. Uh, but, like, rep wise, the higher levels are kind of easier to judge, you know. Um, and then when they kind of judge their own, kind of their own level, it tends to be their friend and they're afraid to give out an O-Rep, okay. that kind of way. But I know, like, I'd be honest as well, if I am an O-Rep, I kind of no-Rep myself anyway, you know, if it's a blatant no-Rep, you know. But if there's no cameras on me then... <laughs> Yeah, like, just get the pace going for the first three rounds. You're like, I could do this all day. And then, like, it's like 10 minutes in, 12 minutes in, so you start feeling the workout in. Like, your grip goes, you start to breathe a little bit more heavier, and your pace just suddenly drops off. But, like, it's one of them mental battle workouts that you have to keep that pace. I started thinking, like I started thinking of other people around me and looking at the clock. And my pace started to drop on the row. So you really need to be like dialed in on your own, on your pace and your roar. Um, and then try to keep it consistent. I'm oh, happy. Good yeah. workout. It's nice for everyone in the gym to do it because it's not too complex like a snatch or you know, muscle ups. It's literally everyone, like last week, everyone can do it. So do not stop staring at a pull up bar or staring at heavy weight, everyone can move, so it's good for anyone else running a Friday Night Lights. How many uh, members have you got? Members, say there's about, with the two gyms, I don't know what the second gym there, the SPG, or the Aero Grapple, uh, I'd say we about 120, 150, but like, that's all we can really fit, if you can see it now, it's not overly big, so we can only manage like... Is there much crossover between the grappling and the crossbow? There is on our side, on their side, not so much. Yeah, one or two, but like, it's like anyone looking into CrossFit. I feel like it's a cult and uh, that's the way they, some of them see it, but, but then there's a few of them that do use it for the shot and conditioning. Um, but it is good to have the both sides, but it's like that, it's a sport that if you're trying to do two of them, you nearly not, uh, you can't be able to have a full-time job, no, that kind of way, because yeah. you're just going to be this okay, okay at it. But if you're happy just to be like, do a little bit of fitness and do a little bit of jiu-jitsu, then it's perfect. But if you're trying to like com compete and get a heavy snatch or muscle ups, and then you're trying to work on your grappling or your kickboxing, and I did it for a few years, um, well, I think I did that for like 
seven or eight years jiu-jitsu and crossfit and i was just like i just like throwing on my backpack flowing into jiu-jitsu and then coming out and flowing in and jump into a competition and i never really took it too serious and um, but now i'm just kind of full-time cro crossfit now how many coaches are here uh, i have i kind of do all of, i do all across it um, because we don't have that many classes i do like three classes in the evening so i kind of wanted to make this my my full-time job so i do the evening classes and then three or four in the mornings and then we have two strength and conditioning coaches and one's another she's a level one as well at crossfit so if i'm ever away i got two off two classes last night and then they step in and stuff like that so do i donut? send it on to me whenever yeah oh. Oh. Sorry, that's that the one you're sending. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you learn from laughing, laughing, or like babe, so you're on the ground, like I'm so weak. <laughs> Do you two always train together? Yeah. Do we always? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if she's not in, I don't come in. <laughs> or, like, would you, did you do the, like, say, last week's workout together and this week's together? And... Yeah, I drag her in at 7 o'clock, so. Yeah, she makes me better gymnastics, I make her better machines. I so <laughs> Jana. No, I'm not in that. He's, 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 he's not in that shy. Put her in the bin. <laughs> and that's why we don't look like him. Yeah, that's why he's shredded. <laughs> I would have liked that. you redo really that now on Monday? Yes, you will. She's the most competitive person. Do you know, before, before you started doing the workout, did you already know you were going to redo it on Monday? Yeah. No. That's her personality. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. She repeats a Monday workout. Only because Michael wants her pain, he's going to push. I don't. I'm happy just to uh, jump in on Friday Night Live, but I only do it because she wants to push. Do you repeat last week? Yeah. yeah. And what was the difference? Uh, 20 seconds? It wasn't worth the 20 seconds. Yeah, that 20 seconds in that workout was a lot. That's like 8,000 yeah. yeah, It was like, yeah, yeah. It was like 15 spots of hard and yeah. Where are you? 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 It's the first time doing RX this year. Not in the open. Yeah, it's my first RX competition this year, so. So, like, I kind of just feel that out this year, put my foot into RX, and then hopefully next year I'll wrap it up a little bit more. So. But do you, if, if there's something holding you back, I mean, it's holding you back. What's holding me back? By gymnastics, but they are coming, Boys. they're coming on. Boys. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Too distracted. And donuts. <laughs> yeah, boys and donuts. <laughs> Yeah, no, gymnastics, but they've made, they've made massive improvements coming here, so, yeah. Cool. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> Strong female contingent here. In here? Yeah. Oh, our women in here are elite, yeah. yeah. That's why I was regretting doing the boys versus the girls. <laughs> but, um, no, we have some very good girl, uh, lady athletes in here. <laughs> Not taking away from the lads, but the girls in here are superb. Yeah, that's all I get. And I'm training, like I'm just trying to jump into classes, but I get my push off them and I team up with them. You know, so a lot of them now are um, starting to jump into RX this year. You know, test out the water, so no, it's good. Females in here are very good. It's not really like overly competitive in here. Um, and I thought it would be because I compete a lot, so I thought it'd be like monkey see, monkey do. But when I'm competing, I'm so chilled out. Like, I don't. I get my pizza the night before. I just I like that. I like going up to the competitions, meeting all the lads. You know, and then whatever fitness I have that day, that's what I have. Johnny beats me on squats. It's so you know, that kind of way. It's just it's nice just to meet up with all the lads and do a workout and you know, come back. So that's why I feel like I never put pressure and they never see me doing like pressure. So it's never like um, yeah, they can see that I'm enjoying it. A few of them have approached me about coaching. So I'm trying to get one or two of them into coaching into their level one. And then they can start doing like six in the morning classes or something like that. Or if I'm away, they could just easily step in. But um, a lot of interest in it, yeah. But then they then they see then they see the amount of stress and the people you have to deal with and you know you get your good apples and sometimes you get bad apples and we have a good crew in here and everyone's nice but it's like working with the public in any kind of profession you're always going to get one or two of them in that kind of way but in here they're all good you did your own two last again yeah did you do that because if you're an affiliate owner now you have to have it or were you always planning to do it no i was always planning on doing level two um, and then it came up 
to be like mandatory for affiliates, but I wanted to do it anyway. So I took the opportunity. I seen it was in uh, Cross of Green where I did my level one anyway. Um, and, and do you know what? Like I enjoyed the level one because you learn so much when you're starting out in Cross it. But the level two was like 10 times better. So it was like 10 of us there. We had Gavs and Joe, uh, I think from Cardiff. But like they just, they're not trying to like correct what you're doing wrong. They're trying to improve you as a coach. You know, it's kind of like if you went now to do your like driving test, you probably fail because you forget about 10 and 2 and looking in your mirrors and stuff like that. So that's what they catch you up over the weekend. It's just like different cues you have to use and correcting like forms and uh, presentation in class and setups, floor space, and you do it anyway, but they kind of show you like ways to improve it. It kind of gave me confidence as to say like you're doing it right. Like the way it might not that obviously there was a lot to improve on, but to say that my cues were good, uh, he would give me little uh, tips and stuff to improve, say going around the room or you know, observation on people. But when I took away from it, I was like, I was kind of happy because I was like, that's kind of the stuff I do anyway. Yeah. Level three, I don't know. I like level two. I go back and do level two. <laughs>